Hey everybody, it's Blue Toter. Welcome back to Legends Out of Breath of the Wild. Last time we attempted to pull the Master Sword a few times since we got multiple more hearts. Uh, but this time we're going to head back to Kakariko Village and see what we can do there still. Also, I don't think I've mentioned it, but Varmeadow is now on the loading screen. So... Now, let's figure out what we can find here. Because there should be a few things that we can do. I think. I might be wrong, but we'll find out. Let's see what's up here. I think I can check this to see what's around. Uh, no, this is the same as before. Can I just exit this, please? Stop reading. Thank you. I think... Let me check what quests we have currently. Just random ones. There's a lot of them that we have currently. Wow. Um, let me see. Any of them that say Kakariko, though? Since they say where you got them from. Doesn't look like it. Okay. Well then, let's have a look around. Because I know, I think, where one could be. As long as I've done other stuff. Oh, there's some fireflies. Now I'm gonna grab. Please, take. Take. And take. I don't know if I've got these before. Have I got these? Oh my goodness, it's so hard to stealth and take pictures of stealth things. Please. Sunset Firefly, please, work. No. Why is it so hard to take pictures of bugs? Oh no, they're disappearing. Oh my goodness, my luck is just not going well, apparently. Is this a house? No. Keep looking around then. Grab some of these. What's the sparkly over here? Wait, there's a apple? Yeah, there's an apple. Just there. Take that then. It's a random spot to find one. Um, this is a house over here. Let's go check this. Hello, Firefly. They say the roads are dangerous at night. So I had, so I have come have to come straight home without searching for fireflies. I miss them so much in the night sky. Now, it's the same tired thing every night. Uh, I'm so sick of it. If only the fireflies would come to play here so I could still see them. By fireflies, flies light. So let me just make sure I can't just drop these and lose them forever. Let me drop that. No, it's fine. Cool. Can I also take a picture of this then? This seems like the cheatiest way to take a picture of one. But it's not disappearing. It's not running away from me, so... So, let's drop a few more. Probably, like, four. Oh, wow! These are fireflies! Thank you! This is all I have to offer, but please accept it with my gratitude. Rupee. They glow so prettily, it's magical. Ah, uh, <laughs> uh, the options right now, you're pretty too, or they don't live long. Let me go with you're pretty too, just so I'm not gonna ruin the mood a little bit. Hey hey, thanks. Also, yes, you can just take the fireflies back straight after that, which seems a little rude. But, you know, if you want fireflies and also to do this quest, you can just do it and get them back. Nothing lost. So, now let's keep looking around town. There should be a little bit left to do. There isn't that much overall, but we've, we've, we did most of it last time, so let's just go this way, please. Just look around. He's fairly good at art, though. Look, look, at, the, look at his art. 
It's not as not as silly looking as the um the horse. Let's grab some more of those apples because we're gonna need them for more of those corks wherever we find them. Now, oh, this is awful. Link, I swear I only took my eyes off it for a second. What should I? What should I do? What's wrong? The Sheikah heirloom. The heirloom has been stolen. And just when I had finally discovered the heirloom's secret... The hero as chosen by the Sheikah heirloom will be gifted the blessing of antiquity. Pyre thinks the hero as chosen by the Sheikah heirloom is you. So she stayed up all night researching the heirloom. She came to the conclusion that the blessing of antiquity refers to one of those ancient shrines and that heirloom is the key that opens the shrine and just before we were able to tell you this the thing is stolen I had been cleaning the heirloom regularly every day from morning to dusk someone must have stolen it during the deepest hour of the night this place is off limits to outsiders and no one from the village would do such a thing, would they? The Stolen Elm Shrine Quest Someone with evil intent came into this sacred place. I'm glad Grandmother is safe, but I still feel so... violated. Link. Pyre... Uh... Paya... Pyre is afraid that the thief may still be nearby. Would you please stay by her side today? Sure, I will nod my head at you and then run away. Why is there a... Okay. Master Link, thank you for staying by my side for the whole day. I see now that crying and feeling scared won't help us get the, the heirloom back. I checked with Dorian and Kato, but they said they didn't see anyone other than villagers around. I'll try again to remember all I can about the night the heirloom was stolen, but the thief may still be hiding nearby. I have a bad feeling. If you spot any suspicious movement at night, don't approach. Okay, let me read your journal again to see if it's different. You m m mustn't It's nothing more than a simple journal where I jot down my personal thoughts. Please don't trouble yourself over it. Oh, I guess I can't while she's there. That's okay. I'll look at that at some other point again. Because I'm pretty sure it just keeps updating as we do things in the story, probably. Well, anyway. I guess now. What time is it? It's getting late. Let's just, uh... Stick around. I might even have a look at meals, maybe. How are we doing for meals? We've still got three pages. So it's not completely... Running out, exactly. This is such a waste of two full heals. <sighs> I'm still upset about that. Um... Wow, we have a lot of materials now. Almost five full pages. Now let's just go ahead and start cooking up some of this hearty stuff. Since we have it. It's just so good. We also got a new... A new one. Which was like... Hearty... Something here. Is it not here? Did I use it? Did I sell it? What? Is it over here? Yeah, hearty salmon. That's similar to the rest of the hearty stuff, so... It has hearty in the name, it's good for you. Oh, don't. Stop holding. Thank you. Cook some more of this. It's the really just the most overpowered thing in the game. Full, full heals. Not gonna sleep until night, that would be a bit silly. Bit of a waste. Now 
Now, I, I don't think I've checked. No, I did check. I was wondering if there was going to be something on top of that um, house. But there wasn't. So that's good. Um, still have room for more stuff. We also have some elixirs that I haven't been using. Just because I haven't needed more um, stamina. And I have a, sh a shock resistant stuff as well. And speed up. Sneaky. Just a lot of things I'm not using. Now, what do I want? I just need... I need to stay around this area for a little bit. But if I cook, it means that I'm going to be... Um... Like, stopping time as I do it. Let's cook some of this big hearty truffle. To add to my collection of full heals. Okay, um, we might also change into our stealth gear, just for a bit. Now, do I have anything else that's, that I could use for extra, uh, full heals? I guess I could do the hearty summon, but I want to keep that actually. I think, so, anything else would be good. Tireless frog, also I don't think I did hearty lizard, or well, explained hearty lizard. This rare lizard lives deep in the forests. It feeds on high nutrient foods, giving it great uh, vitality. When used to make elixirs, they temporarily increase your maximum hearts. I'm guessing that if I do this with a random monster part, doesn't matter what probably, it's another full whole recovery. Cool. Good. So those are overpowered as well. Let me put that on the list of overpowered objects in the game, which I definitely have a list of, and not just making anything up. I think that's everything I want to cook for now. So, let me just quickly... Oh, I should have taken a picture of that. That was bad thinking. Let me go to Haru Compendium. I don't think I have the lizard here. Yeah, there's a high tail and then I don't have the other one. I'll need to do that. Um, don't need anything from here. I wonder if there's a place I can just buy those lizards. That'd be good. Also, I feel like I'm having a little bit of lag right now, which is strange. Yeah, just like a tiny second of lag between my input and the actual thing that's happening in the game. Oh, it's gonna bug me there. So, anyway. I think I'm actually just gonna skip ahead in time. Okay. We can see that one of the guards has started wandering off. Just at 22 o'clock. It's not actually what that is. I'm pretty sure it's 10. Technically. You can see he's got dot dot dot. And we need to follow him very stealthily. So this is why I put on the stealth gear. We need to also make sure we keep up with him a little bit though. So it doesn't get out of our sight. Hello, I'm gonna get ya. I'm gonna get ya. I'm going a little bit too fast. I'm gonna get ya. Okay. How could they? Oh, he's going. He's going. Oh, must do something. Okay. Oh my goodness, shooting star. <laughs> of course. I've seen a lot more of those than I have seen in any other playthrough. I've 
supposed to collect it more than I ever have. I can hear him, but I can't see where he is, and I don't want to get too close. Because getting too close would be bad. Let me run around a little bit to try and catch up. Oh, there he is. Slower. I almost lost him, though. If I didn't run, I would probably... Sure is quiet out here. I probably have lost him. There he goes. Oh, calm down, calm down. Input delay. Okay. Oh, he's... What was that? There he goes across the bridge. Oh, must be imagining things. Okay. Well, let's just... Go across the bridge to see him, I guess. Oh, just wait a little bit more. Show yourself! Everything's fine. Ooh. I think now is the time to go all in. I know you're there. Show yourself. You don't have to shout. I'm right here. So you're the ones who stole the heirloom. Huh. Such anger. It seems this thing is truly special to the fools of this village. Why would you steal it? Don't play dumb, Dorian. You knew what you were getting yourself into when you decided to leave the organization. You forfeited your life the moment you left. You did well to, to tell us about the heirloom. Unfortunately, your usefulness has come to an end, as must you, but first. It appears we have an audience. For my fallen master! Okay, yes, we have a Yiger Blade Master to fight now. So... It's about the same as it was before. But let's absolutely ruin him. Just absolutely... Absolutely destroy. Also, we should have taken a picture of him. I can't believe I was being followed. I'm sure you figured it out, but all of this is my fault. There's no point in trying to hide it. I am a member of the Yiga clan, or I used to be anyway. But then I met the most incredible woman who blessed me with two amazing children. And so I tried to change my ways, tried to leave the clan. But the Yiga, they took my wife's life as punishment. I couldn't let them hurt my children, so I used my position as gatekeeper to gather information for the Yiga. I told them about you, and about the village in exchange for safety. But my grief over losing my wife consumed me, and I finally decided to cut ties with the Yiga completely. I decided I could protect my children from the Yiga. I wasn't afraid of them. But the Yiga are pure evil. They told me they would kill both Impa and pa Paya if I didn't play along. Paya figured out that the heirloom is the key to opening an ancient shrine. We weren't able to make it work, but pa Paya thinks that maybe you can. Paya, all of us and all of us are devoted to helping you in your quest. 
Now please restore this heirloom to its pedestal. And yeah. Oh, I didn't mean to drop it. Oh my goodness, input delay. Hang on. Oh my goodness, input delay. Why is this happening now? I don't... I don't know why this is happening now. I have not had input delay before. Not this much, at least. But anyway, luckily the pedestal is right here and the orb was brought to it for us. The way to get this uh, shrine quest to appear is to do the side quests in Kakarika Village. So it's not completely pointless to do them. And for doing them all, you get this, so... Just like that. Now let's continue to fight with... everything. The shrine! So the heirloom was the key to opening the shrine. Incredible. Master Link, I... I'm very sorry for all of this. I know it's selfish, a selfish request, but you... Uh, but do you think you could keep what really happened a secret? I truly don't deserve mercy. But I don't want my children, Coco and uh, Kotala, uh, to suffer anymore. I know it doesn't make up for what I've done, but I pledge to protect the village and my family from now on. No matter the cost. Okay. Let's activate the shrine. Oh my goodness, the input delay is so bad. But anyway, with activating the shrine, this is the last shrine in the Dueling Peaks region. And this shrine is just a simple blessing, which is nice. All it is, the, the shrine itself is basically just everything outside, doing all the side quests in the village. Oh my goodness, why does everything feel so floaty? Also, I think the the people in the Blessing Shrines actually say something different, but I might have read that already. I can't remember. Um... I think I worked out why everything's going absolutely insane. I changed my OBS profile. And that's probably what's causing absolute chaos. I just don't know what's different in the settings that's actually made it this bad. So, um... Let's get rid of that. And I guess, let's head over. Um, where do I want to go? Actually, there are a few things I want to do over here. And maybe in Rito Village? So let's just go to this shrine over here. Okay, so... Let's just... Bring out our shield and shield stuff down to... The... Stable. Just like this. And now... Let's see... What... Is happening. Uh, doesn't look like there's any other sh quest that I need to worry about. I want to talk to Beetle again as well. See what he has. Uh, what have you got? Okay, I don't need any of that, I don't think. I'm just going to leave that for now. Goodbye. And now you... You can go. Hey, we meet again. Are you out traveling as well? I've traveled all over, all over the world. So I'm happy to tell you about new places if you want. If you have a picture to show me, let's see it already. Check out my album. Ah. 
Here you can see Hyrule Castle in the distance, so this must be north of the castle. The south side of the castle is where Castle Town used to be, but I don't see any buildings here, which means... Yes indeed, I'd say this is likely on the north side, across the castle moat. It should be southeast of this, of this stable. However, the area around the castle is, is extremely dangerous. If you find yourself in trouble, please promise to run, run fast. Okay, so we need to go southeast, which... Um, yeah, we're, we're, I don't know, southeast is in a direction, kind of more this way though. Also, I want to grab this flint because it seems to just respawn, and we needed some flint for a quest, so. I think this is southeast, probably, so let's just keep heading in this direction. Just a little bit past the shrine. Oh, there was a thing in the grass that I could have taken a picture of if I hadn't already. Or actually just picked up, you know. That as well. Now, is this what I think it is? It is. That's really surprising, actually. Let's grab that. Another Korok, of course. I knew there were ones like this, which is why I was at one of the stables looking into the logs a lot. I'm wondering if I could find what I was looking for, but I didn't, so... But it's okay now. Grab some of that tree jelly. Some of these plants as well, just because. And let's keep heading up. Okay. I think it's like what I'm looking for is over this hill, somewhat close to the shrine. Oh, what's that? What is that? I might want to check that out, because that looks like a weird... I guess that's some water, or something. Now, let's go to the top of this hill so we can get a better look around. Although we can see the Hyrule Castle. We can see something glowing over that way. Very rocky area over here that I don't think I've actually seen or take a, take, taken a look at before. Not for very long, at least. Um, there's a tree over there. That's a pretty good... That looks like the spot. So let's go there. And then, yeah. Let me see if I can shield surf my way down. Oh, you can even jump while shield surfing? That's cool. Shield of mine's eye is almost broken. That's okay. Don't think there's anything that I need to worry about. So I'm going to just keep going this way. Grab some of that. Oh, and more chews. Do I have... I think I have a few things I could do here. Like, Frost Blade you, so I get Ice Chew Jelly. And I can zap you for Electric Chew Jelly. Since they're, since they're bigger than the rest, it's good to just do that for extra um, elemental stuff. Anyway, this is, looks like the place. And sure it is. one. Oh, and another. The flowers we have in Hyrule aren't just beautiful. They're also quite useful as ingredients for a variety of things. <gasps> this one here is called the Silent Princess. It's a rare, endangered species. Despite our efforts, we can't get them to grow domestically yet. The princess can only thrive out here. In the wild. All that we can hope is that the species will be strong enough to prosper on its own. Oh, is that 
what I think it is. Look at this. I don't believe it, but I actually caught one. This delicacy is known to have very, very potent effects under the proper circumstances. Ta-da! <laughs> Research from the castle shows ingesting one of these can actually augment certain abilities. We wouldn't be in a controlled environment out here, but with your level of physical fitness, you'd be a perfect candidate for the study. Go on. <laughs> Taste it. <laughs> Can't blame Link for not trying. I wouldn't want to eat a frog raw. Or any other kind of frog for that matter. But anyway, that is it for this episode of Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.